Hey guys, Artosis back here with game number three in a little sponsored match between Yoon and Scan. Had some great games here so far. If you haven't seen games one and two, check them out. Spoiler alert, both of them win a game. It's a best of three. All right, we are going to be uh, finishing up here. It looks like on Polypoid. And yeah, I'm, I'm kind of pumped. I think the Polypoid game was really good between these two. And then, of course, we had that Eclipse game with a very interesting tech opener from Scan. Uh, but that did not end up working out. I think that he had some great ideas. But yeah, very, very hard to take that engagement correctly against the Mass Ultra. Uh, honestly, and here's, here's kind of like the beauty of StarCraft, right? These guys are both top 10 in the world at their races. But even watching this, you can see a lot of things that can still be improved, right? Like it's the infinite skill cap of, of StarCraft is so, it's just so crazy, really, when you think about it. Like look at look at Yoon's play in these two games, right? Like the four lurker, one uh, defiler move out that he had on the previous game on Polypoid. That like, imagine if he doesn't do that, the whole game looks different. The uh, last Ultralisk engagement, I mean, it didn't end up changing the outcome of the game. He still ended up winning, but was that optimal? No, it wasn't. And I mean, a lot of the same types of things here from Scan as well, right? Like there's definitely mistakes being made on all the on unit movements and uh, little macro hiccups and things like that. But yeah, it's just, it's awesome to see because they're so, so, so good. And then even if they, it, you know, fix a few of these little things, maybe that's going to be the difference that helps them to become ASL champions one day. Well... Anyways, enough about that. Looking over here, we do have, uh, it looks like, a pretty quick spawning pool from Yoon. Uh, now, unfortunately for him, he's playing against a wall from Scan. This is going to be a Zergling tight wall. So it's going to be very, very easy for him to hold. As long as he doesn't do something like CC right away. He needs to actually make the depot. Uh, and as long as he just makes the depot right away, like it's 100% hold. Super, super easy. No problem at all. So yeah, look, he's making the depot, making a marine. Probably just shoot this guy off. Yep, and go up here. Now, the lings are coming. So if this SCV goes on the outside, dies, and they can kill this depot, it becomes it becomes a very interesting game. But the link, this goes fast and sees those lings, so he can actually just pull some SCVs down uh, to help with this. Right? 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 Well, his SCV comes on the inside, finishes up, and starts to repair. Okay, well, I mean, you don't get more pro gamer than that, do you? <laughs> Gonna have to repair both sides as the uh, second Marine pops out. Of course, he'll be able to defend both sides at the same time. I mean, good micro from Yoon. He's doing his best he can with the bad situation. And that's it. It's held. Okay. Uh, the SCV gonna come back towards the top right. And scout what Yoon is actually up to. And that is a 3 10 layer so uh yeah it's a little bit later he put on the pressure with the zerglings uh the mutas aren't going to come particularly fast but it's hard for scan to actually read exactly the timing of this so he'll probably have to go with the regularly timed turrets so obviously his scv did not get here right away we'll see i mean if he keeps along alive long enough to see when it finishes then he can deduce when it started obviously but yeah we'll see about that now Scan, where are you going to go from here? There, when you wall in like this, you have a few more options uh, about exactly, like, what your your build order is going to be. And I... Okay, so he actually throws down the academy, so it's a bit of an academy rush going on. But I was going to say, you can do things like a quick plus one attack uh, because you have the wall. You don't need a bunker. You don't need that many marines. So you can kind of spend extra minerals elsewhere. But I think he is just going to go for some marine medics and do a little push out early on. There goes the layer all finished. Going to start his spire here momentarily. The SCV still trying to scout. Zergling's just kind of combing the map, staying on top of him. Doesn't want him to get up and get any more free scouting intel if he, if it is at all possible. You also notice that Scan moved the uh, barracks over a little bit. This is so he can actually get in and out. Uh, the Zergling still can't attack in because he's hit like a critical mass of Marines. It would take like 20 Zerglings to break through this, <laughs> which is, I mean, that's not that likely when the wall is up. And as you add more Marines, it gets worse and worse for Zerg. See, he does have the Zergling speed, but he's got like five Zerglings total. See, the Overlord's kind of being spread out. 
Drone coming up for that third base in the top left location. Going to be very easy for him to defend that. It's so far away from everything. And, oh, okay, this is kind of interesting. Uh, scan actually goes up to three racks pretty darn quickly there. Uh, that's going to really give him a boost as far as his uh, uh, production of the Marines goes. Stim is almost done. Medic popping out. And four racks right away once again. Yeah, so... Scan really showing that he does like that barracks heavy play. It seems like he's really playing uh, on the far sides, right? Like against two racks, I mean, uh, against two hatchery mutalisks, four racks is basically the quickest, uh, most pressure you can put on. And then uh, the one tech opening that we've seen from him recently was teching up extremely quickly into those cloaked wraiths. All right, looking over at Yoon's base, mutas are on the way. Plus one attack being made. Third base being taken. Turrets, though, being made. Like, he scan knows the exact timing that he needs. He's already done his scan as well. And I'm sure he's going to move out for some pressure very, very soon here. He's got range already halfway done. So he's going to be ready quite quickly based on how, uh, how fast he got his academy up. This definitely makes a big difference if you can get range early on. Because it's it makes, like, a huge difference against the Mutalisks. And the first two fly in, find a turret for now. I'm going to try to see if there's any little holes, but scan is ready everywhere. Looking at home, still just producing some drones, some mutas. Overlord's popping out as well. Scan going up the map pretty darn quickly this game. The Overlord, of course, giving a ton of intel as well as the Lings. Yoon not losing anything. I love the Overlord placement. He's really getting a ton of vision if you look at it. Has a pretty good idea of where this army is at all times. Now coming up. Ooh, loses one right away. Might be caught off guard by how quick the range is there. Since the academy was super, super fast. And the mute is flying up. Turn around. And yeah, this is kind of the nice thing about a build like this from Scan. The mutas have to take you really seriously. Because if they like fly back to the main base... To harass, Scan can instantly go up and kill this base. Which is exactly what he would like to do. But as more mutas come out, like you're so far out here at this point, this group of marines, the odds of it getting home are almost zero. Uh, but it does buy a lot of time. You don't have to make many turrets or anything. Unfortunately, he's going to end up losing those three medics as well. So a nice clean up there from Yoon. Actually still has eight mutas left over. Very well done. And kills off absolutely everything. Let's take a look over at Scan's base. He has that factory coming up. Uh, you know, it's not the quickest factory, but that's all right. It, it, this is kind of how it goes with that four racks play. Ooh, catches a Muta on its way back. It looks like Yoon wanted to go for maybe some harassment at the natural. But gets pushed back heavily there by the Marines rallying out. Looking again at Yoon's base. Hygelisk Den coming up. Queen's Nest coming up as well. We don't see any evolution chamber as of yet, so... Very likely scan will just go into two Stargate or Starport uh, science vessels. Yeah, you see he's adding that fifth racks. Six racks even. Oh my god. And yeah, two vessels or two port vessel on the way. Over 40 SCVs are out. I love the amount of pressure he's putting on here. It is very tough for Yoon. Now Yoon coming in and this is kind of a nice moment, right? Like he gets rid of the turret. He's slowing things down. He's going to trade with some of these Marines, but is there enough defense here? Yes, there is. The Sunkens are in time. The Muta's continuing to harass. This was a good move from you, and I really like it. Picking off quite a few Marines. Uh, going to try to get some more as they pop out, but, you know, over time, the, the Muta's... How much value can they gain here? I mean, killing off, like, five more Marines with them? Because when Marines just pop out alone, they're super, super weak, so... This has been fantastic, and the defense is solid. Nothing here, though. This might be the changing moment uh, within this game, because right now you look at the state of it, it's like, yes, Yoon has an advantage, but with these Marines running to the top left, there's nothing... I mean, he's killing every single drone. He might even get the hatchery. That's crazy. There, There's just not enough defense here whatsoever. All right, Stims gets the drone, puts a little bit too much damage on the Queen's Nest, but going to go after the hatchery now as well. Hydra should come up to attack immediately. He just wants to save this hatch so badly. Turns to fight those, and the Mutas come up, so he will save the hatchery. But the drone's loss, 
I think it was too much. Like, you cannot be losing that many drones. Now, look, Scan remembers the last time he played Yoon on this map in this type of situation. He's done a ton of damage. So it becomes almost predictable that Zerg wants to do a counterattack. He's built a bunker on the outside. He's built a bunker on the inside. This will slow lurkers down significantly if they do start to push. Muta's coming back now. Nice full group of 11. Microing down some of those marines there. Taking a look. It looks like it was mostly drones produced from Yoon. Uh, and again, you know, this is something you have to kind of decide on your own. How do you come back? Do you try to uh, rely on your opponent defending against the counterattack that's very common in this type of situation? Or are you going to just drone up? Like, or that's when you would drone up, right? Is if they're sitting back defending. Whereas if Scan puts full pressure on with this Bioforce once again, do we have any lurkers? Any. He's making one right now at the top left. So yeah, if Scan just attack moves with his whole army, he can probably bust the Sunkins and the Mutas. Uh, but you got to be careful, right? He doesn't have full intel. He doesn't know where every single thing on the map is. There could be lurkers outside his base right now. It's nice harassment from Yoon. He's buying time as he can. Of course, as irradiates already, he's going to get his Mutas just destroyed. Looks like the Nidus is up. Lurkers starting to be burrowed. All right, so he's starting to get some solid defense around the map. Very, very important. Consume just being started now. Night is coming up. So Yoon getting ready to get into a more normal position, but Scan definitely has that advantage. He has a way stronger army right now. Ooh, a Radiate's coming out. Just hurting those Mutalisks even more. You know, even if you end up killing, it sounded like he killed about three there, but the rest take a bit of damage, which means the turrets will do better. Although, honestly, there's not really many turrets here. Just that one, nothing in the bunker. So still could get a bit of harassment done, but I don't think Scan's too worried about that right now. All right, starting to come up. Ooh, loses a vessel. A little bit sloppy there. We do have some lurkers burrowed behind the sunken, so you're not going to be able to break that. Scan going up to eight barracks. Okay, so this is, this is Scan going for a kill right now. And we're going to see him get highly aggressive. Uh, because if you go up to something like this, like eight racks on two base, and you start popping out drop ships, you have to do damage. Because you're not taking any more expansions, you're not getting more vessels, you're not getting into BCs. You have to get damage done. And with eight racks, you can refill your army very, very, very quickly. Now, he is supply blocked, making a couple depots. So that seems like a pretty long supply block. We see him kind of shooting up uh in minerals here unfortunately throwing down more and more depots you can see he's just kind of frantically throwing them anywhere he can the triple lurker stack gonna make it very hard to actually get up there vessels coming up to help and he does have the double drop ship but he's got to be careful see the scourge waiting for him if you catch the drop ship like scan strategy like he's he's definitely ahead guys but it can fall apart if you smash these two drop ships which he's not going to because Scan came up at a very interesting angle. The, a lot of those are already getting picked off. Uh, but yeah, it looks like he is going to be able to unload. Scourge coming up to help deal with that. Ling's coming out. Lurker as well with the burrow. Oh, good Scan does kill off that Lurker. More Marines up here. Should be able to clear those Lings just barely. But as the Mutas come up, that's the end of that drop. And he did scourge one of them. So was that enough damage? No, not really. He just killed a few units, but it's not over here yet. More vessels are being produced. Finally, Scan's starting that third command center. Looks like he has about five vessels out right now, which is a good amount. A drop going towards the main base, and we don't... Oh, the scourge are all down here. Nothing at the top. So Scan going to be able to uh, unload, I think, just about everything. Yeah, he gets out absolutely all the units with two on upgrades. Beautifully done. Still has a single lurker. Only a single lurker here at the front. So, Scan may be able to break this area as well. Scourge, get the last uh, drop ship. Radiates that uh, overlord that is on top of it. Defilers are out. Consume is done. So, he's going to have to defend this. He has to do it pretty darn quickly. Okay, Plague. Oh, I like the Plague as opposed to... Uh, throwing down a Dark Swarm. That's going to allow the Mutas to come in and really help to clean that up as well. So... Looks like Yoon holds on to his main base. Does take some damage, though. 
His drone count, honestly, not that bad considering what's happened to him so far this game, but Scan's starting to explode onto the map, floating over his third base, getting that BC add-on with the physics lab, picking his fourth down at six. Fence Matrix as he runs up the ramp. Yuna has to target us down the ramp. It's very, very important. Okay, Dark Storm comes down. Obviously, that's going to be good enough. And Scan runs away. Irradiate goes down. Ooh, the plague onto the vessels. All five being plagued here. Battle Cruisers in production right now. Let's see what these upgrades are at. 2-2 two, two with 3-3 three, three starting up. Let's take a look at Zerg. Only plus one carrot base with 1-2 starting up. So definitely Scan advanced in that way as well. Has some good coverage of the map right now with his Marines and Medics. Oh, gonna lose both these vessels over there. So painful. Has five red vessels still with this group of army. He is making uh, battle cruisers. It's okay to only have like five or six vessels total. You know, when you start actually getting above that, basically no one can spend all that energy. It's just like too micro intensive. Even players like Light and Flash have a hard time, you know, casting eight irradiates every minute or so. <laughs> All right, looks like a counterattack down to six, but Scan already has some Marines and Medics down there. Has another containing force, the floating factory kind of watching. And no fourth base for Yoon, which is kind of the important part here. Comes up the ramp. Uh-oh, this is not looking good for Yoon right now. Scan getting up the ramp with a ton of Marines and Medics. The Dark Swarm going to stop the Defilers from dying. He eats one of them. Okay, throws down a Plague as the Ultras come out. So, I mean... Uh, it's just barely not enough of anything here for Yoon. I mean, even like eight lings there would have helped to clear that up since the plague hit. Dark Storm going down, but okay, he has Burrow luckily here, so the Eraser won't completely murder his economy. More units coming out. Looks like he's getting ready to expand to the bottom left as well. Killed the main hatchery, which is really nice, but GG is called. Scan wins two to one.